20th episode, man. Back in the building, man. 20th episode, man. You feel Appreciate me? You gotta feel following. good about that, man. 20th episode, bro. Like, we official podcasters, man. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> you hear me? But you know it's gonna get bigger and better. Oh, uh, yeah, we got some we new We still ain't even take the step forward. The new things coming top this of the thing up. Feel me? I'm gonna let that chill like a hear. It did, but um, we gonna pop it off with this local, you know, this local in no shit. Yeah, damn. You Carl. feel me? Yeah, bro. Carl lost the West Gate to get to that dome. To me, Eastern once again. Eastern went up to Neville and handled their business, huh? Forty five. You were spooking off of you, but you did say you think Eastern could go ahead and do it, yeah. but you know, just going to Neville yeah, ain't no fucking cakewalk, right? For you them to do what saying? they did, I'm proud of them for real. They want to lay 45 on Neville in, in Monroe. Neville. In Monroe. That's big, man. Neville we got a shout out Easton, man. We got shout a shout out, out Easton. Shout out the offensive, I mean the defensive coordinator, you know. Coach, that's Noel, huh? Yeah, but one thing, them people coming. You got to respect them people. Them people went to LGS and beat Cup. That's Something crazy. Something that's haven't been done. Yeah. Yeah. Only one team came down here and beat them at Berman in the playoffs in like the last 15 years. That was never. You know what I'm saying? You don't come to call and beat them. They came Canada. down here and beat them, you know. Wow. Westgate. Yeah. Did they think. But, um... That championship game, East and East and Westgate in the Dome. That's uh Friday tomorrow for all the marbles, man. You know, and no, we uh we gotta hope East and get them one, bro. Fuck, you know yeah, that we city, need man. East and one. We East you know, definitely need one, man. I know Carl and East and been getting up, you know, a lot lately, but no, that I city don't really know. don't, you know. We, a city really don't just win the fucking championship no, like that. Yeah. I mean, if it ain't called, it ain't really nobody. Nobody on this side of the river has won it yet. Right, and we can't even see this side of the river. <laughs> That's across the river and everything. We, they ain't no repped off it because they still in fucking all these parents. They still in all these parents. Yeah, across yeah. the river, though. Yeah. But so Easton got to come go ahead and get it. With it. And that's going to motivate. So the, the last team to win it is St. Aug in 75 or some shit? Yeah. God damn. Yeah. That's for we got, and 5 That's where won it when it was select. That don't count. Fuck the select. Yeah, Judge Wood won it and was select. Yeah, That's it. fuck the select. Rumble won it too, huh? No, Rumble won it when Rumble won the last title together. Yep. One thing Rumble got. Rumble got the 5 a trip. They own the school right. title. When Rumble won it, that was the last was, year. That was when Chase was there? No. Chase wasn't That was before that. Chase. Yeah, that was way before them. This was like 15, 14, when 13 something. In between 13 and 15. When they won it, it was the last year of that. They went to select the very next year. Right. Hell yeah, so Rummel did win it. Yeah, they went to select. What that team was, though, Rummel, man. I just like Curbs. Ever since they've been on five, they ain't won the title yet. Not even the select. Yeah. They got to the chip. They lost to fucking um, <coughs> Clyde Edwards. He left. Yeah, select just top heavy, you know. Oh yeah. Now, at the end, yeah. You know, Catholic of Baton Rouge and shit. You know that. You know that's that's gonna be it. But man, I'm I'm still proud of Carl too, man. Carbon dominating a long time. You still had to go through them to get that book. Now they go to 5-8, though. Now they go to 5-8. Damn. 2016 years, too. I ain't even know that. They lost a lot. They lost How many seniors? Like 26 seniors. They lost a lot. Yeah. Like, they was heartbroken. They going to be young. They gonna be young. They gonna. But I look for Lil Chris and that quarterback to take the next level next year. Yeah, too. They, they gonna be seniors, huh? Yeah, they gonna be seniors. They they gonna be still just on the strength of him being a three year starter. And and I gotta you know I respect Bryce 
One thing I seen him do, he, his quarterbacks get better every year. He worked with his offense. Like, he worked with what he guys Like, Lennon Kelly, three years starting. Lennon got better every year. Dude won three championships. But the daddy, he going to be better next year. Mm-hmm. Tell him he going to be making his reads. He going to be throwing it all over the field next year. Bryce going to have him ready. Bryce a good offensive mind. Shit, Chad. And we got the chip tomorrow, East and the West Gate. Uh, local, too, is not just New Orleans. We got to get shout outs to our surrounding areas because, like, across the lake, St. John, Paris, all that, that's still local. Touch Destrahan, all that is local. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know. So, shout out to If we come across our, our, our face, we definitely trying yeah. to let y'all know. Shout out to Ponchatoula. That's across the lake. That's our kinfolk. They in the dome. They playing Zachary. You know what I'm saying? They got the longtime legendary coach who used to take shots to the dome all them years. His name, Hank Trinity. He been Ponchatoula head coach for some years now, lately, like the last five years or whatever. He been their head coach. I seen last week they was down like 28 to 7. They came back and won the game like 49, 20-something, 28, and won the game. They play Zach, or so uh, that's going to be a good yeah. one too. But they play Saturday. See, the 4A game and the 5A game not on the same night this year. This mm. their first time separating them. They give them their own stage. So who the five A chip is? Ponchatoula and Zachary. All right, Zachary, you know, Zachary, BR, yeah. right? Zachary outside BR. Zachary got one of the biggest schools in the state. Pretty nice, brand new campus they got back there. Zachary good in that b ball too. I just saw them play. Yeah, Zachary good in that b ball. I think I saw them play cold. Powerhouse. They got three chips in the last eight years. You know, Zachary can guys. I want to say that's the game you they that black, Yeah, that's the game, man. You want to say they wear that, bl- they wear that powder blue. Yeah. Black, red, powder blue. So, yeah, man, that's what the uh, the football, basketball getting getting going now. Here, we, you know, we seeing our top teams, and, you know, we got to see a good bit of them with uh, – McMain, Carver, Carver turning around. They looking a little better. They they fighting. That's what's up. You know, you know, we just got high expectations for Carver. So don't you know? Too much, don't think you can just roll up and beat Carver because y'all heard us say they tripping or something. Or no, they'll beat the piss out of most teams for sure. You right. know, it's just right. we expecting like perfection. You know what I'm saying? They they got the best player in the state. They got a couple of the best players in the state, but they got the number one player in the state, Solomon. I think I I think for sure he ranked number one in the state right. in basketball. I, I may be wrong, but I think he is. You know, he, he played that defense. Bro. I ain't seen too many dudes play defense like him. Elite defense. He the best defender I ever saw in high school, Solomon. Best defender I ever saw in high school for sure. He get them LeBron – Chase fucking down chase blocks. down blocks like it's just simple. He you know like what I'm three saying? Them a game like it's like simple. it's simple. Like you know, yeah, I'm coming. You know, now people try this shit a little bit more and be getting it, but man, you got to throw that bitch so high for dude not to come get it. He got NBA athleticism, man. But um, Carver, McMain, uh, Newman. Uh, I saw all them play. I saw Saint Paul play. They they young, but they look they look all right. Um, well, so the cover the cause Zachary come down here. Liberty Liberty good too. Out of Br Tyrus Thomas, one of their coaches on his staff. Um, who else? I want to shout out man Landry, bro. With Coach Rob, them man. Yeah. Like they uh they getting their players good. I see they on a little eight nine game winning streak with little mouse now. And they're young. And they're young. They're young. They had a good little game against uh somebody. I saw them play. And you gotta respect um right. They young, but right, well coached and stuff too. So if it be right. So if it be right. Yeah. So if it be right. They coached up with uh and my boy over there. And they got a team hammer, huh? No, no I ain't Hammond got, at McMahon. Little brother at McMahon. Yeah, the older brother went there. 
I think he had a. I forgot what cottage he had, Tulsa or something. One of them. Cottage. And where you say Mitch at? Mitch at 35. Coach Mitch at 35. Now, what did they look like? They all right? I caught a glimpse of 35. It wasn't much. What he had the tournament, but I didn't see too much of him. And I'm pulling for Mims to start getting his players. Start sending y'all children over there, a few of them kids over there by Mims. They're going to be in good hands. Don't worry. I seen they got blowed out yesterday. I was looking at scores or whatever. Just hanging up, Mims. The talent coming. Well, yeah, Mims ain't just Mims just, ain't running from nothing, yeah, man. The talent coming. Mims gonna coach. Give, give Mims, give Mims two more years. He gonna be competing for state. Yeah, yeah. I fuck with him. Yeah, yeah. He, give him two more years. He gonna be competing for state. He just getting his hands on it. He about to weather this little storm. He just getting his hands on him, getting the team from a Kendall. But give Mims two years. I feel like he gonna be competing for state. Oh man, man, man. Left the girls and went to the boys, bro. And I see Katie, um, they started off slow, look like they turned it around. Katie, um, Easton good? Katie, Katie learning though. Katie learning. I saw Katie, man. Katie got to Katie got to stand up, man. Katie be chilling on the bench. <laughs> yeah. You could barely hear her. You know, Katie young. She, uh, I could tell she going through a little, you know, a little immature coach, head coaching stages. She gonna get it though. Yeah. I just, you know, I want to see her into it a little more though, you know, because she could very well be coaching good. But she, I just saw, I just she saw her play two, three times. She just chill, the whole, you know. She sit down. I don't, I don't personally like it like that when you just could sit down. God damn, I'm too, you know. I coach, so I never sit down at all. Never said that. I mean, I just got to stand up. I feel like I ain't coaching if I ain't standing up, but that's just me. But I know most coaches do stand up, like they stand up on the sideline. But Katie going, you know, get in their butt, man, especially with them girls. It's a little harder as a man trying to coach girls because you always in the back of your head want to make sure you ain't going too hard on You know what I'm saying? So when I be seeing women coaching them, I be hoping and thinking, man, look, man, get on the ass. Like, you, you're a woman, you know how to t- get on the motherfucking ass. Like, you know, you can hoop, holler, shout, woo de woo curse, everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? To me, I always just felt like Warren Easton always was a school with a perfect pitch for the students and the parents, like, you know, if I'm Mams, I'm telling these little dudes, man, these little bitty ball players, who don't want to go to school on Canal Street, man? Off campus lunch, man. Only school in the city. Ben, since my mama done went there, my mama went there in ninth grade. This was in the 80s. What you mean, only school? Only school with off campus lunch. <coughs> All these parents, yeah. No. Who else got it? A bunch of teams, a bunch of schools. I'm no talking about men. public. Public or public, public school. John May, we used to leave. All these, no, I'm talking about, like, they really have off campus lunch. Not no security guard, look, I'm about to go give me something to eat and come right back. No. Bell rang, everybody in the school is walking out. No. The principal right here on the end of the Everybody have off campus lunch. Yeah, everybody at one East, except no. the freshmen. 10, 10 11, I'm about 12. to say, I know the younger ones don't. The ninth grade, that's it. And, right. and they sneaking out off campus. Like, they ain't really. Monitoring it all the way, like, like. Yeah, I think that's tough to let everybody go because there ain't that many places to eat. No, Canal Street. Bar- Where they, they at? They had Bars Barrel across the street, McDonald's, Bars Burger Barrel ain't King, done no more. Popeyes. All that shit was right there. Remember when Popeyes and shit, Popeyes and Church were across the street from each other? Yeah. Rallies, Adams, this corner store. They go get their hot sauce sandwiches sit from there. They still got all campus lunch to this day, right now, still. You got McDonald's, Burger King, Rallies, the corner stew, right yeah. there. All that shit still right there. They still no, they got the little vegan spot But right you there. right, not the whole school. Ninth yeah, I, grade, I don't think the whole school. Ninth yeah. grade couldn't go. I remember that. But see, you know, T them come straight from Gregory. They, they started from the tent. They was off campus as soon as they hit the door. You know what I'm saying? We used to be going around that, you know. We sneaking off campus, going to get something to eat. We going to pass around Eastern and shit. I used to always just think that was the five years like perk with East. Man, what? I'm, just, I'm trying to look at Jack Curtis, man. I'm, 
in Chicago in the whole college life, man. Right. Eighth grade. <laughs> yeah. Man, I got a go to school yesterday, man. Just and went, went to school for PE. Her mama brought at one thirty because they work out at PE with the practice. I'm like, what the fuck, like. That's a great ass perk, like you know what I'm saying. You know she's probably just tired. They feel like you know she's straight A's, don't. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. So uh, she could do whatever she wants school. If she don't want to go to school today, I wouldn't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like don't go there and fuck. You know, chill if you want chill. Went to school for fucking PE. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man, that's fire. Like and they can. I don't think they could leave though. I'm not sure about the older people. But it's nothing for them to get lunch from across the street and shit. Like, they, you know, no problem. They got fucking quiz nose or whatever the fuck right there and all type of shit around there. Mm-hmm. Then they got a lower school and a fucking high school. I just I <laughs> People do what they want, man. Yes, indeed. People do what they want. I love it. I ain't lying. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yep. Yeah, I said, no, I had a lot of places to walk to to get some need. McDonald's, churches, Triangle. Yeah. Yeah, it just. The only bad thing with that, I think. And the trenches. You know, it ain't necessarily the trenches. It's just. We not. We not, uh. Directing them to eating better or nothing, or eating right. good, right. eating this bullshit for lunch. You know what I'm saying? Just me, now, I, I know, know one thing: that the Smoothie Kings people and shit be pulling up to them schools now. Yeah, but they that shit ain't healthy. With the ice chests and shit. Smoothie King ain't healthy, man. Sugar ass shit. <laughs> that shit ain't healthy. Nah, he need to send blends. There gotta over be there. something healthy with Smoothie King, brother. Smoothie King, smoothie no, King just can't be not healthy. No, you can go get. They got healthy shit in that, brother. Not the people pulling up to the gym. They got two fucking smoothies. What you mean? Yeah, if the people who smoothie king who come to the gym, they got the red color and the pink now, color. Are they gonna have muscle punch? They gonna have Caribbean no, wings? I went to Saint No, son. Yeah, I just nobody come. It's the two flavors in the fucking cool. That's the only thing you are getting when they right. come to smoothie. Muscle king. punch and Caribbean way. No. I know Muscle Punch. Yeah, brother. I bought Muscle Punch Last white, time huh? I went, No, Muscle Punch is the pink, red looking yeah, shit. Yeah, all right. We're right. The pink color and the red color. Yeah. That shit ain't healthy for you. How Muscle Punch is healthy for you? You got protein and shit in it. You got all that shit in it. No, listen. You got fruits and shit. You got to go to Smoothie King and get a motherfucking, the slim section. You know what I'm saying? You got to go that route to get you something healthy out of Smoothie King. If you're getting a regular smoothie, that shit is sugared up, it's fucked up. It's like eating ice cream. You got they got shit with ice cream in there. Yeah, the vanilla hope. Yeah, that shit ain't healthy. But yeah, the um in that fucking dome Friday, I mean tomorrow, boy. Y'all stay tuned. Go to go go fuck with that tomorrow. I stream it. Watch it at your house. Eastern and uh, Westgate. Seven o'clock. It should be. It's on something. It's on Cox or something. It's on something. But yeah, man. Smoother King fucking held it for you. I don't believe that. Why you think they got that 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 side? Slim, you know, they got that green section in Smoothie King. That's why they got, they used to ain't had that, no. Oh, talking about the apple, kiwi, kale, and all that shit be That's when you trying yeah. that Smoothie King. That's what Ma be drinking. That's when you trying. Yeah. You getting a regular smoothie. Kale and shit. That's yeah. like you going to Cold Stone or something. You know, you going to get you a snack. You may, yeah, you may, you may think because it's smoothies or something. Why shouldn't they put that shit in the, in the blender? The fucking, the fucking old frozen fruits with all that syrup and that shit. Right. That's like a cold drink. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For real. You know. Yeah, you might have some protein in there. 
You're fucking right. You're going to get fat and, you know, big and but fat. But they got the sugar-free smoothies, too. Yeah, you got to go to that slim section and get you something with the kale and some other shit in there, right, you the, know? The spinach one and all that, yeah. You need some organic fruit. But, um... But yeah, baby, the fucked up whole smoothie king conversation. <laughs> you know did. It shows you feel me. Man, oh, man. we move on to the same shit, my life, man. We take it, man. man look, I told you Russell that. Wilson. Uh uh-uh, uh, Deshaun Watson. Man, can we just get the college picks? I don't want the old person. <laughs> Shit, Deshaun, quarterbacks play 25 years now. Deshaun Watson? They ain't nobody near old, boy. Until they washed up after 10. Shit, time ain't washed up. Time's showing you. You got a rare few that's going to go to 10 like that. Drew wasn't washed up. Man, Drew. I'm saying Drew is still better than Say, 60 70% I'm of the tripping. league. We got, we got like, about five quarterbacks in the league that's 10-year starters right yeah, now. Yeah. We got Aaron Rodgers, Ben Rosselberger, Tom Brady, Russell Wilson. Who else been 10 plus years? Oh, no, it ain't a lot because most of the Kirk Cousins. Now. Kirk Cousins, yeah. Kirk Cousins ain't been in the league 10 years. Yeah, the time fly. Kirk Cousins been in this league 10 years. Yeah. You got to check that. He been Minnesota starting quarterback maybe five years now. And what he was at before that Washington. Yep. It's close, but he ain't been in there 10 years. Yeah, 10 years. 2012. <laughs> this is this is nine years or this This is 10 year right here. 2012 when he got drafted. Nine year. He got drafted in the 2012. Close to 10 shit. Nine years, fuck. I know it was close, but I think it was 10. Years. All right, now name him, Tom. It ain't Russell. a minute. I remember Cameron. seeing the list of quarterbacks and the ages, and they all was young. Yeah, yeah, it was. So I knew it ain't like half the league old no more. I named you all up. Brady, Rogers, Russell. Stafford. Yeah, Brady, Rogers, Russell, Stafford. Who I just named? Ben. Ben. That's five. Kirk Cousins. That's six. Said Brady already. That's it. Everybody else young. Yep. I mean, yeah, Cam gone. Fuck. Cam would have been about 10. All right, make sure this. Garoppolo been your 10. He ain't been starting no 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. James Winston. I mean, yeah, man, just started starting. James Winston just hurt. James Winston was 10 years. He was 10 years. James Winston? Yeah. Fuck no, man. Hell no. It's like James Winston, seven years. He maybe he maybe played four years, maybe five in Tampa. Oh. It's three, four, five. Well, I know it ain't. It's probably four or five. And this is his second year, yeah. Like Tampa, Delvin Cook came in 17. I think James, James Winston came in 15 because Delvin Cook was a true freshman on that championship team. So 15, okay. Remember Tote that bitch? Yeah. Delvin and Leonard came Delvin in Delvin Cook. Yeah, Leonard was the number one, and Dalvin was the number two. Nick Chubb was the number three. They that was a, them like, niggas was. They said that best uh, running nah, that's back crazy. class ever. Cause I remember you just saying, "I'm seeing Leonard and thinking, ain't no fucking way somebody else on this earth is better than this dude or close." And they had Dalvin Cook had and Nick Chubb. Cook and Nick Chubb right on his man ass, Cut man. Up. Like, you know, we couldn't. You know, we don't know. He weird, another fucking state ball. I'm talking about, I told the nigga, see, I'm like, see, look, we see Leonard. But I'm like, look, they got this nigga from Florida, his name, Dalvin Cook. Sure enough, he wound up starting for Florida State. True freshman. They went to the championship with Jamie Winston. Dalvin Cook was starting, boy, 18 years old. True freshman on that championship team. Dude, Ben Nice Warden, you heard Jefferson interview just now? Jefferson like, man, yeah, we know what he could do. He the best bag in the league. You know, that's on the team, but you can really say that about dude. Like, dude well, he could, get his respect. He get his respect. He just a little bit more injury prone than, you know, and, you know. He, I he feel like he the Odell bit. of his position. He the Odell? Of his position. Why Odell, though? No, what I'm saying is, like, nigga know what it's hidden for. No. Yeah, I want to know why he answered that. 
Nigga know what he's hitting for if he 100%. That's what I mean. By he better than Odell. Like, I mean, you know, damn, Odell. Odell been 100%, but fuck, what he been doing? He ain't been healthy. It's a little harder for Odell to get off because he needs somebody else, a quarterback nigga throwing the ball and shit. But, yeah, he been healthy. Been healthy this year. When yeah. he come back, he healthy. He get hurt again. But when he, he come back, he healthy. Delvin Every Cook. time Delvin Cook healthy, cool. he's showing you he that nigga. Delvin Cook cool. Every time. I mean, he – and Delvin Cook's usually health, healthy. He just didn't have some injuries. You know what I'm saying? He didn't had a couple injuries already. Hmm? No, Dalvin Cook good. Dalvin Cook cold. Dalvin Cook good. Like, Dalvin Cook. It don't matter what he played at. Matter. I ain't lying. He, he could do everything. Catch, run in between the tackles, break tackles, pass protect. <laughs> He got the that, whole don't package. Don't think that running back sometimes get a little extra credit because the offensive line is just that good? They offensive line is shitty. Yeah, because, you know. Well, no, not necessarily. But I mean, you got that thing. Look at Emmitt Smith. You know, take for instance, Dallas. You know, you got a fire offensive line. That's all why Emmett not in my top line. five of all time. Yeah, that's why yeah, I don't he got think the nobody going to put Emmett better than you know the like the man. Top you know one. he gonna always go down over this this man. He wasn't better than Thurman. No, Emmett wasn't better than no Thurman Thomas no. boy. The world know that boy. Yeah, right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree. You know, right. oh, Barry Emmett Sanders, Smith. Like, Emmett Smith know. wasn't better than Marshall Falk, but they'll put him over Emmett. Oh, Emmett wasn't cool. better than Marshall. No, That's just my you. opinion, dog. No. Emmett wasn't fucking with no Marshall boy. Fuck no, dog. <coughs> dog. I like they got a lot of niggas like me personally. What who I who I seen would have took over Emmett, dog. Just a lot, like a lot of Hall of Fame running backs that didn't win the bowl and the shit. I like that. Like I loved the Fred Taylor when he was in Jacksonville. You can't see if Fred Taylor was better than Emmett, dude. I like, don't know what Fred Taylor would have did in Dallas, but I know he top ten of all time. When you go to look, when you go look, he gonna fuck you up. He right there. When you go on them all time lists with running back shit, Fred gonna be on there. Another nigga that was cold who don't get his respect, but he one of the best backs I seen of all time. Not now this not towards Emmett or nothing. Curtis Martin was another one for the Jets. He Put him on Dallas Fred Taylor yeah. because they got the stats. They was tearing his bitch up. They wasn't winning like that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But Fred Taylor came in with Jacksonville. They was winning soon yeah, as they soon came. They came in. They went to the FC but Championship. <coughs> him and Mark Brunel. I respect Fred they Taylor. He definitely one of the best. He, Fred Taylor he was the rock. You know, and another nigga you fuck with, Matt Forte. Yeah, but fuck, he ain't my better than him. And I fucks with Matt Forte. He, you know, a a, a like poor said, man, Marshall. A lot Falk. of niggas ain't play with Dallas, with Michael Irvin, Troy Aikman, with Big Nate Newton, them blocking brother. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> with tough. The, with that tight end and shit, with the best, with a with a with a Hall of Fame fullback. Them niggas had Hall of Fame fullback, Hall of Fame tight end, Hall of Fame center, Hall of Fame tackle, Hall of Fame guard, Hall of Fame wide receiver. You know, it's just like a gift of the curse. Do it's like fuck. Some people can say Emmett, Emmett helped that, and some people can say they help Emmett, which of course both of them you help know. each other. Right. It just fuck. Emmett still had like, to run for all the fucking yards real and touchdowns. Talk. I just, you know, even your boy, I mean, Seattle. Get through the hole. Sean Alexander. Sean Alexander <laughs> tore this bitch up too. Boy, Priest home, <laughs> yeah. Priest, <Remember? laughs> see, Priest home was just down. He <laughs> wasn't in here long. Yeah, boy, but Sean Priest. Alexander had a, a, a kind of, you know, substantial career as far as years. Yeah, he fuck told the right. rock a little fuck bit. Fucking right, Sean Alexander did his. But you know, Emmett ain't gonna go over like Bo Sean Jackson Alexander shit. did his. Like, you know what I'm saying? Walter Payton and Boy, Sean fucking Alexander. Jim Brown. And, yeah, you know, Sean Alexander did his. Fuck. Barry Sanders. He ain't gonna go over Thanks. them niggas. But I still feel like you know, the best running back though. I, the best running back. Like he ain't gone to Adrian Peterson. I it, feel like nah. from Belina you know? is Barry. But you know, Barry was the late 80s, early 90s. Nigga was a real like a kid then. He was. So I could really say like 
the yeah. best back I feel yeah. like me and you ever seen is Adrian Peterson, and it ain't even as close. Man, that dude fumbled too much. Yeah, they gave you the ball many times. You might have, you might lose See, that with your few times. I don't know too. nobody. Really, you could go get anybody in history, and I could all give you that AP was better than that. <coughs> anybody in history, you could go get, and I could argue them. I know. That I, he was better. I just have a lot of memories of uh, Adrian Peterson reaching for a fumbled ball. That's all. That's just my vision. <laughs> this one right here. <laughs> this guy is the At only crucial moments, this, like. this guy is the only player ever. I heard the announcers and shit on national TV in a high school game. Me teaching them watching the game. The people said this boy ready for the pros right now. The baddest thing never come through Texas yeah. with the fucking all all American game. That's when I got introduced to Adrian Peterson. They said this boy ready for high school. He went to Oklahoma, he went broke all the records as a true freshman, rushed yeah. for 2,000 yards and some shit. Buku touchdown, was a Heisman finalist, a true yeah. freshman. Definitely. Listen, be. brother, Adrian Peterson, probably the best running back of all time, though, but don't got the accolade. Say, brother, dude, told this motherfucker. Why y'all think he got, what you mean he got the accolade? Yeah. He do. All right, the I mean. winning. Yeah, he's great. The winning. Is he's great with the ball he in his got hand. The winning. But the running backs See, ain't got no the winning. winning. Marshall, Emmett, <laughs> Thurman, them. They was getting to them bowls and shit. They was, yep. they was winning. You see what I'm saying? The bus and shit. Niggas was winning. Yeah, a was, few niggas. That's all was, I'm saying. It was see, you more know? of a running game then. It's more of a way more of a passing, passing game. Passing game. Nah, yeah. But he got the yards and the touchdowns. Yeah. and well, He got, you know he got the 2,000 yard season. He got the fumbles. At the and he did that. <laughs> and then look. He I did. mean that's all I'm saying. If you listen, could, you'd be great, but if you fumbling the ball at the when it's time to you win, you know the when game, they called him superhuman, woo? That huh? nigga rushed for two thousand yeah. off a five and a half month rehab off of ACL, brother. Bruh, he an animal. Remember when dude did that shit? Yeah, animal. Though? I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, it wasn't that short, dude. But yeah, it was like six I'm months saying. or something. See, it was a, it was a lie. six. Yeah, but an animal. It yeah. was a. He came That's back he earlier came, than like. He came back in like. He, 10 it was a speed of recovery, did. brother. Off the ACL, he rushed yeah, for he two stacks. Back. He jumped back and did that. He yeah, rushed man. for two stacks, bro. Right. He was a he was a he was a he was a beast runner. And uh, though. one ma hold up, another person really. It's these two. I'm going to tell you. The only person in our fucking era since we've been old enough to watch this shit that you can even mention with AP. One person, and I can't get mad with you if you feel like this person the best. LT. LT, buddy. LT was that you, nigga. If you feel like LT was the best you ever seen, I can't argue with you. I'll have to go with LT. That nigga was ice water, but if you feel like LT it. was better than Peterson, <coughs> I feel like, damn, bitch, well, I like AP, but yeah. If you feel like LaDamon Thomason, the best you ever seen, yeah. Yeah, but didn't Jameis Winston you ain't hella yards? Dog. LT, bro. Mm -hmm. Didn't, didn't Jameis Winston with Tampa Bay throw for hella yards? He threw for 5,000 yards when you. But didn't he also throw for a gang of interceptions? But no, look what they say LT got. LT got something that they say in the, today's world, the way they play the game, and ain't going to be broken. I think he rushed for the 30 touch. He got the touchdown shit. Oh. He got yeah, the, yeah, I'm about yeah, to tell yeah, you what yeah. he got. Yeah, Did he, he beat Sean Alexander much. one? Yeah, he got the yeah, shit. They well, the ball too much. No. Yeah, they say he got a. Uh, yeah, he scored. I think he rushed for maybe 20-something touchdown. Yeah. Yeah. He did. He beat it. Yeah, the Damon Thomas and T D record. He definitely is up there. Facts. That nigga was cool. LT. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, twenty nine touchdowns. Did he get any ring? He got the record. No. The ring. If they would have kept Drew Brees, They would have, they would have did something. Drew Brees is a tad bit better than Phillip Rivers. A tad bit? 
I mean, I fuck with Philip Rivers. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> I'm a vegan dude. A little bias. <laughs> Philip Rivers, a dog, yeah. Oh, no, bro. I'm tripping. I mean, he's nice. Yeah. I'm tripping. Ooh, it's just the eye test and everything, but like, yeah, as far as with the stats, you know, LT, dog, because, dog, this is what, no, I got to go check a. Did AP got an MVP? I think so. Because LT, LT won the MVP in 06. Yeah, when, when, when AP Who got the most fumbles? 2000, he won the MVP. <laughs> Who got the most fumbles? <laughs> no, I don't think he won it. I think fucking Pete Madden or something beat him up. I think he got beat out. Mm-mm. Yeah, look, in 06, <coughs> look what he did. He had 28 rushing touchdowns. They say that record ain't going to never be broken the way they play now. They say ain't nobody going to never break that. They say that ain't going to ever be broken. They throw the ball too much. He ran for 28 touchdowns one year. Look, he accounted for third and one touchdowns from scrimmage. You got to be Derrick Henry or somebody to to think it's possible. And look what what he did. Now, I don't know who he tied (coughs) with because they don't say it. I don't know who who he tied with. He tied with somebody 18 consecutive games with a touchdown. He did that in 06. Yeah, that's probably Sean Alexander. 18 consecutive games. Sean yeah. Alexander was getting in that fucking end zone. But, yeah, I didn't even know LT had an MVP, brother. Yeah, he got an MVP. Yeah, 06. I didn't know that either. I didn't know he had an MVP. And I know everything about sports. <laughs> yeah, he uh, you know, he was catching the. Oh yeah, you right. Shit. 2012, most valuable player, Adrian <coughs> Peterson. Yeah, I know you got one. Adrian Peterson. See, with them two, it's an argument. They got MVPs and shit under their belt. Marshall ain't got an MVP. Yeah, Marshall got an MVP. I, I think. Fuck. Yeah. I mean, I'm putting Marshall right there with them niggas. Yeah, for real. With LT and But what's shit. crazy? Marshall was, I mean, LT better than Marshall. I saw both of them too. Marshall, cold as a motherfucker. LT was a bigger, colder Marshall. LT was bigger than Marshall? Yeah. No, indeed, man. Now, LT was a little bit, a Marshall with a little bit more size. Man, LT was a small nigga, man. Fuck no. Man, LT, a nigga five. He wasn't 10, small five, like Marshall. Nine. What you mean? Marshall was like six feet. Marshall was probably a little bit more slender than but Marshall, LT. But he Marshall, wasn't. LT. Marshall was better. Marshall was a little better, though. Yeah, I mean. I, can't. I don't think pound for pound as a runner, Marshall wasn't better. See? That's why I put LT probably was a little bit better. LT was a nigga you can pound. Yeah, ground and pound with two. Hand it off. Yeah. He had, Dive. Have, how was his hands? He had he had Marshall Falk hands. He did all that too, though. He had he did hands. all that. He probably ain't have his hands. That's Marshall hands, but fuck, he had hands for sure. He catching that bitch out of the backfield. But I can't see L. As good as the, the stats L T put up, I still can't see. Yeah, Marshall, Marshall got one too. Running back hard. Marshall MVP. Two thousand. <laughs> the year two thousand. <laughs> Boy, Marshall was that nigga, boy. And he was three-time offensive player of the year. Come on, man. Marshall. Come on, man. Three-time. Marshall will step in and say, hold up. Now, who the fuck is that? Now, let me see. That's what I'm saying. Do Emmett got an MVP? Yeah, man. Emmett Smith? Fucking right. He would rush for all the fucking touchdowns. 93. 93, he did tie this bitch up in 93. Yeah, man, nigga was scoring. He got an MVP in 93. He got it, Troy. He got it. Probably had offensive line the year. Oh, yeah, for sure. That same he year. got all them niggas hall of, in the Hall of Fame. Oh, they got him an MVP. Troy Aikman ain't never won no fucking MVP. We know that. It's Dallas, though. Oh, that fucking talent, bro. Him. Be hard on Dallas, yeah, Troy though. didn't <laughs> win one. I thought he won <laughs> yeah, one. I'm Troy saying Troy didn't win, win no MVP. Yeah, Troy ain't win that. He yeah, took much round him. They used to give Troy, like, you know, he was a subpar quarterback. Mm-hmm. A facilitator. You know. Don't turn the ball over. Oh. 
man, I want to uh, uh, see um, how you feel about these young boys, these, yeah. these, these college boys. Uh, the boy yeah, from Duke. Potato. The boy from Duke, Chet Holgram, them. You know, and uh, Two. I'm seeing this guy from um, Purdue look good. Huh? Just was speaking on the NCAA, this Coach K last year. Uh, and Duke got a good team, bro. Boy, I just watched that boy number five. What his name? Put I think he gonna. Sur- I think he done surpassed Chet as the number one pick. I can see that. I mean, he the number one pick right now, and though him and Chet just checked each other and went at it. Boy, one play that boy fucking put that body on Chet who a motherfucking ass and punched that bitch and flexed on him like. And one of the announcers slick side he said, "See, that's the difference between." Him and Hogan right now, he has that NBA body. He going number one. Check going number two. Check it, dude going number one. I don't one. think it's it's like stamp like that because fuck your NBA body. You know what I'm saying? There ain't you no know such thing. Saying? I know what they're saying, but they no, don't mean You know that. what they're calling him? You know what they're saying he is? They're saying he tear them with the NBA body sooner already. He tear them big, dude. He bigger than Tatum. Yeah, you know what I'm he saying? He bigger than Tatum now. He a bigger version of Tatum. I mean, you know. Because dude could do it all. He could dribble. Dude could ball, man. Dude the ball. I checked the ball. Dude the ball. And he got the ball. frame. He got the frame, man. The frame, but I'm saying just because you don't have the frame don't mean. Oh, you got to frame my dog. KD. Yeah, I mean, of course, we know we can see KD. Yeah. Bring any nigga with look frame right Davis. now. Andy Davis didn't have the frame. You always told me that Andy Davis was the truth. I used to be like, see, man, this nigga skinny, man. This nigga ain't really, you know, I see Ben on Andy. When C saw Andy Davis at Kentucky, he was like, man, this the nigga. I'm like, no, see, that nigga ain't it. That nigga ain't. <laughs> I ain't think Andy Davis was, because his body frame wasn't. I'm thinking that shit wasn't going to yeah in the league. Uh, For real. But you could go to niggas like AI. This nigga, you know, 160 pounds soaking wet. Another skinny nigga who always balled, Lamar Odom. <clears throat> he came in the league, featherweight. Yeah, he ain't really about that. It's Chet good. Holgram, the thing is, the dude's seven feet tall. He can get his shot from anywhere. He can protect the rim. He can make shit hard for niggas on defense, whether you got size on him or not. And, of course, he could get his shot off. He could shoot the three. He could dish this bitch who he may be a more valuable player than a nigga who got great potential, you know, woo de woo He looked like he could be a fucking Anthony Edwards. You know what I'm saying? That's what he looked like. Anthony Edwards had the body already. And then Elvis' potential is sky high. Yeah. Still, right now, he look like he could be the MVP soon. You know what I'm saying? Like, Fuck he could win the MVP that good. Mm-hmm. Dude look like something like that. <laughs> but that don't mean you may not want Anthony Davis or Kevin KD. Right. Before. You know what I'm saying? He might be more important to your franchise when you got Bradley Bill already. You know what I'm saying? I'm whatever. Give, you know. I'm give you exa- well, no, I don't know if you're... If this is a for sure example, but seem like this example of what you're saying, they both came out in the same year. They were leading the league in scoring. Beasley and KD. But at the time in college, Beasley probably looked at like he was more NBA ready than KD. But didn't mean that KD. Yeah, because you definitely look, didn't look, see the KD be, shit. Oh, you you six ten, that skinny. Cause though, I, man, thought, I thought I thought Beasley. I'm gonna keep it real, bitch. I <laughs> thought Beasley, Beasley was banging boy, at Kansas Beasley State. Beasley was banging, nigga. Averaging thirty, both of them boys. Yeah, and I think if I ain't tripping, I think that's the year with Steph. I think all oh, that's going on, him, Steph. I think KD was in there with Steph. That's what I'm talking about right. with Beasley. All around that same time, Beasley was before KD though. Be- right before. They may have caught each other. I don't think none of them was one and done. KD wasn't one and done. 
KD? Yeah. No, KD is more than that. Yeah, man. Limit. Him and DJ come out. KD leave after the first year. DJ stayed the second year. Oh, DJ didn't want to do. DJ stayed the second year. Lottery pick. Lottery pick. KD was gone. Man. That's KD. <laughs> 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 I, I mean, you got me questioning it like maybe not. But no, that's KD, man. KD ain't come back the second year. I want to say Beasley may have. I think Beasley came back a second year. Something's telling me he didn't. <laughs> KD. <laughs> he switched. Yeah, because KD came and was averaging like 25 and shit and 12 and shit, you know, going on like his freshman year. Yeah, he only played one year, 06, 07. AP player of the year. 06, 07. I wonder if Kevin Durant ever not averaged over 20 in his life. <laughs> like, his whole life. Yeah, he had probably been averaging that since he was 13, 20. For sure. Like, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> as soon as he touched the NBA, he was, in, he was 20. I checked that before. His first rookie year, he averaged 20. Yeah, and look, before we get off this college people, man, we got a local uh, product on the big stage. Devontae Jones from St. Al, he Michigan starting point guard. He transferred that from Coastal Carolina. Jawan Howard went and got that boy. I thought the, he came from Tulane. Coastal Carolina. Devontae Jones transferred from Coastal Carolina to Michigan. Because so he, he was that no, him, let me tell you who he was at Coast of Carolina with Rob LaBretta. Mm. Remember, Rob LaBretta was jumping out the gym, dunk in the shit. He was nice. <sighs> he was at Coast of Carolina too, but he transferred somewhere else too. I don't know where he went. He transferred somewhere too, but uh, that's big. And I always liked it. I always liked Devontae Jones' game, even when he was at St. Oh. He a flow general, but he up and down with that ball. Like, dude, get that ball and really, he run that fucking flow so good. Only thing I really like about his game, I just felt like he needed to work on his shot. His shot was just like, he just don't have a good shot. He just, you know, you know, he can score the ball, get to the line, get, but he a cold ass point guard. You know, Jawan Howard ain't coming get you from Coast of Carolina to come to Michigan. Top ten in the nation. That's to crazy come, with this transfer portal shit. To come start. That's why I say, you know, uh, you hear it from me first. I think he the black son gone. Yeah, you see, I mean. He going with the coach. Yeah, you you going to see in the next two. Yeah, you going to see in the next two weeks. My child Johnson transferring to Florida. That man going to say, come on, I'm about to put you on the big stage now. Because <laughs> all the big schools wanted him. He got to like that coach, dog. That coach had to sit him and key the black down like, I'm going to get your son to the NFL. You're going to play for me. Look at this boy from Frisco toting it right now. I got him in the NFL. That boy come from ULL. He got him in the league right now. Them people, ever since that dude was at ULL, the people have been top 10 in the nation in rushing. Every year since dude been at UL, top ten in the country <coughs> in Russia. He build running backs. He, you know what I'm saying? And you see so, Frank back at LSU. Associate head coach. Number one recruit in the country, Ben. <laughs> Best recruit in the nation, Frank Wilson. But man, yeah, key to black I'm son. Saying, Jalou got that same position. That got that same position, yeah. Associate head coach. Because you know why? You still want to keep them tied, them Louisiana ties. Yeah, that's right. That's why you in Florida. Come on, Jalou. It's Frank and Jalou, both of them the recruit. Mm-hmm. Now that you got Jalou, you still got, you You could damn near steal some shit out of New Orleans. You, yes, indeed. You got, you got Jalou. You can steal number seven from Warren East to Fred Robinson now. Yeah, you didn't think about it. He coached that car. Let anything come through car, he 
He got first dibs and all type of ways to get at you. You know? He got all type of ways, but look, that'll be a battle. But I ain't going to lie, though. Boy, Frank, Frank got too, you know. Why about to tell you, Frank got the fucking West Bank sold up. He started that. Frank yeah. start. They called the, he the guard over there. Frank Frank Wilson. That's who Jaluk and all them look up to. He set the trend on, set the tone on the West Bank, and turned that bitch into yeah. what and that plus, bitch is Jaluk, right now. Jaluk Frank. is coming from Florida, and Frank right back at LSU. So Frank gonna have an ups on you, fucking yeah, LSU. Now, if it was the other way around, well, I think Jaluka had an ups on him. him. If, if if Frank was at Florida and yeah, Jaluka you know, was Frank still at LSU. Stay home. We're going to take care well, of you for the rest of your life. You why would I do that? you probably get the million. Right. <laughs> Come on, man. Listen, brother. People don't believe, brother. Randy Livingston forever good. He turned down Duke, Kansas, North Carolina. He was the number one player in the country two years in a row. Unheard of. Signed with LSU. <laughs> a never anywhere up and down I ten. Boy, Randy good. Cause they felt like he he still gonna go get them old favors and whatever he want. No matter what, LSU are hiring right now up with a job for paying some good money. You know, like, yeah, that's just like, you know, they don't like when you leave neither. You know, they treat them dudes bad. Who the Jones and all them? Dudes left, went to Alabama, Landon Collins, all them. See, Landon made it, went made the big money, you know. So he come do what he want when he come back home. You don't go touch that big money, boy, you be coming back home, bro. And people ain't doing them favors for you and shit they'd have been doing for you if you'd have went to LSU. Shit, lot. But, um, I ain't gonna give y'all one pick right quick to get out of here, man. One pick, you heard me? College, we ain't gonna fuck with college. Got the bull game. Alabama won. Um, Michigan, two. two. Georgia, two. and then Cincinnati, huh? Yeah. So yeah, Bama play Cincinnati, Georgia play uh, Michigan. You know, that's that's in a couple Man, weeks. That's <laughs> on another note too. Today, we ain't gonna get into all that, but I smell, boy. Alabama vulnerable, boy. Yeah, they vulnerable. You know, Alabama. Vulnerable. You playing an undefeated team who hungry? Cincinnati, they gonna you know. You know, they they dying to get this shit to 16. That's going to be the – well, they already made it. Well, they changing it to 12. Six, 12 team. They, they, go, they, got the, they got another meeting in um, January. So, you know. The week, before the, the week before the championship, matter of fact. What the line is on that? 13. 13. That's why I say, boy, they let me know them people going to fight Alabama, boy. Them people going to fight Alabama. That's true. Oh, people going to fight us, boy. Ooh, we got some good games, man. That Monday night game going to be good. My lock, though. My lock going to be uh, Cincinnati to bounce back off of mm. a fluky, you know, uh, what to say? Clumsy game oh, that they, they they probably played better than with the score and everything came, you know, with with, the, with some turnovers and shit, a few mistakes. I got Cincy plus one and a half at home to beat Frisco. Listen, bro, I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna give y'all one. When they fucking defense getting stops, I told you I I, I I'm stuck with them and I'm dying with them for the rest of the year. KC. Is out there. Yeah. KC. They defense getting stops. You know they scary. They giving Oakland a team that beat them already. They giving Oakland nine and a half. This KC 40 per game right here. Gonna beat the piss out of them. Yeah. I like the KC pick. I don't think 
Vegas got their tight end and shit, so that's their best player. I mean, like, it don't matter what they got. KC getting stopped right now. And Mahomes it looks like that it. line wouldn't be 10 like that. It Josh Gordon, them getting acquainted to the offense. They it be matter like a motherfucker. He the best. He, fuck, he, he the best tight end in the league, arguably. Fuck, that nigga that cold. He cold. But. Smoking sports, man. Twenty eight episode. We gonna finish off this year fire, oh, man. I got another one. Upset alert. I like Buffalo to bounce back. I like Buffalo to beat Tampa this year, this week. I like Buffalo to go in Tampa. That line only three and a half. I like Buffalo to go into Tampa and beat them. They looking at that game was ten degrees. <clears throat> A hard, solid as a rock field. It just was a bad game. We can't throw the ball. Wind blowing. I'm not judging that game last week. I still like, I still like Buffalo. Buffalo. Fuck, that's one of the games you might want, judge. Cause Buffalo been shits. Yeah, man, that game. You know. That's not. The, it wasn't shits that game. You, nobody ain't gonna judge that game. What about the four games before that? Bitch has been horrible. I don't like that pick, but I feel you. You know, I don't know. Going to going, knock off Brady, three and a half. I feel that line probably could have been six. You know what I'm saying? I feel you on the line. I feel you with the line. But to speculation and thinking Buffalo about to go beat them people, that'll be just thinking against the grain to me. Like, you thinking something going to happen that didn't look like it should happen. You know I what I'm saying? I Tampa defense shits, Waters. I see through their defense. I know... Nigga can move that ball on them, bitch. Nigga get some stops on them. You remember? Yeah. They vulnerable to this shit. Why I feel like they ain't about to beat the Green Bays and shit. I, I, I feel like nigga talking that type of shit at the end. This how it's about to go down, dog. Arizona, Green Bay, and them playoff Rams. See them teams shit? Yeah, niggas going around season, taking little L's here, woo woo. Boy, look. Tampa defense ain't good enough this year to. I don't think they're going. I, like, like, all, that, all that's going to matter down the stretch what they're doing in the playoffs. Because all them, nobody got no top notch defense like that besides the Rams, maybe. And they be. Still fluky, but they well, in the Arizona, division what nigga Ari- can do. And Arizona got a D2. Arizona got J.J. Watt, Chandler <clears throat> Jones. J.J. Watt out for the season. Sim- oh, all right, Simmons, Boo the Baker. Man. All of them bring something to the table, Weapons. but all of them got scored on. Weapons on. Oh, you know who got the best D in the league, though? But that's in the AFC. It's Patriots. Patriots look like they're trying to win the Super Bowl. Uh, but we going to get out of here, though.